Building a Marcotherm external thermal insulation composite system is synonymous with technological quality and professionalism. Create the skirting by positioning the Marcotherm Profili di Base, fitted with drip channels in a perfectly horizontal position. Using expansion anchors, leaving at least one centimeter of space above the finished walkway surface. If continuous thermal protection is required, which also includes areas below the walkway surface, non-absorbent insulation boards that are specific for skirting can be applied upon waterproofing of the structure. Prepare the Marcotherm Adhesivo Adhesive, specific for EPS, or Marcotherm Adhesivo Grana Grossa, specific for mineral wool and corkboard by pouring a portion of the water into a container, then adding the powder, which will be dispersed with a mechanical mixer, and then adding enough water to obtain the correct plasticity for the adhesive. Cut the EPS boards to a sharp edge using the Marcotherm Dahlia Polystyrene Hot Wire Styrofoam Cutter for extremely fast and precise cuts. Use blade cutters for the mineral wool boards. On uneven or unplastered brick substrates, apply the adhesive to the insulation panel, forming a continuous perimetric line and beads in the center, with the glue covering a surface area of 45 to 50% of the panel. On perfectly flat surfaces, the adhesive can be applied over the entire surface of the panel using a square toothed trowel. The installation of the panel should start from the bottom, with the long side positioned horizontally and staggering the vertical joints by at least 25 to 30 centimeters. For corners and edges, the panels are again positioned in an alternating manner avoiding the use of panel pieces smaller than 15 centimeters in this area in order to ensure distribution of the stress. During the installation of the insulating panels, it is essential that the insulating system is completely vertical with respect to the ground, using a plumb line as an aid. Besides the panels perfectly fitting against each other, the flatness between the boards is checked using a straight edge. If door jams or architraves are insulated, fill the adjoining holes with facade insulation. Any gaps due to measuring tolerances or the application of the panels that are greater than 2 mm are filled with pieces of styrofoam or with a suitable low density insulating foam. The structure's existing expansion joints must also be respected in the thermal insulation. Leave a minimum half a centimeter gap between the paneling, first determining whether a strip of insulating material needs to be inserted. Then a Marcotherm Giunto di Dilatazione expansion joint, which will be glued to the ends with Marcotherm Adhesivo Adhesive. When applying the Marcotherm Profilo Sotto Finestra, the Marcotherm Guarnizione Adhesiva must be glued onto the sill and then a butt against the underwindow profile inserting on the insulating sheet. When Marcotherm Elementi di Fissadio Bercadini are applied, determine the heights and distances in the wall. First, insert the seat into the insulating material, then glue them to the substrate with Marcotherm Adhesivo. When the adhesive has dried, mechanically fasten them with special fixing anchors. Insert a piece of insulating sheet in the fixing anchor cavity. When insulating the internal jam, in order to ensure that the junction between the insulating sheet and the fixture is sealed against water and air, insert a Marcotherm Profilo Per Finestra into the frame which is fitted with adhesive cleats for the masking of the fixture and alkali-resistant mesh for the successive incorporation into the leveling plaster. For the fixing of light loads, such as tables, shutter stops, rainwater downpipe clamps or others, 
Use Marco Thermanello or Marco Therm Gilindro, initially milling the panel with the special cutter mill and then gluing them with Marco Therm polyurethane glue. Remove any imperfections between the styrofoam panels by sanding. In order to withstand the wind loads, mechanically fasten the insulation panels to the substrate about 48 hours after installation using Marco Therm Tassello. Make a hole in the substrate with or without a percussion drill. Insert the fixing anchor and tighten it until it is level with the insulation panels. For mineral wall systems, the contact surface between the fixing anchor and the insulation panel must be increased by adding the Disco Fisher DT90 to the fixing anchors. For a job well done, the fixing anchor can be sunk into the insulation panel, creating a cavity and then covered with the special anchor cover. In order to reduce the surface stresses on all window and door angles, apply diagonal strips of alkali-resistant mesh and immersing them in the adhesive. Proceed by applying the Marcotherm Parasbigoli onto all the salient and re-entrant angles of the building, spreading a layer of adhesive onto the insulation panels and immersing the pre-treated mesh attached to the angular profile. Macrotherm Piano Piloti can also be used in the areas where a drip channel is required. Use a metal adhesive spreader to distribute an even layer of Macrotherm Adhesivo or Macrotherm Adhesivo Grana Grossa in order to level the entire surface. While the adhesive is still wet, spread the alkali-resistant mesh, Macrotherm Rete, overlapping each sheet by at least 10 cm. Press the mesh lightly with a putty knife so that it is immersed in the adhesive. After a minimum of 24 hours, when the first layer of adhesive is dry, apply another coat of adhesive, completely covering the reinforcement mesh so that it is no longer visible. After the leveling adhesive has been allowed to dry for at least 10 days, brush apply a pigmented Marcotherm primer, pouring the product into a bucket and diluting it by 20 to 50 percent with clean water. After a minimum of six hours, apply Marcotherm or Marcotherm sealed textured coatings, which are acrylic and acrylic siloxane, anti-mold, anti-algae, palette knife effect, compact or rustic products. They are spread with a metal or PVC filling knife and finished with a PVC filling knife before a film begins to form on the surface. To reduce the stress on the facade due to overheating from the sun's rays, it is important that colours with a reflection index greater than 20 be used. When the work is finished, the window hinges, shutter stops, rainwater downpipe clamps and all the other elements can be refastened to their previously mounted supports on the facade. Marco Therm System. Protection for your home.